Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. And I'm really excited today because we are doing Lorraine's lemongrass chicken. Now, there's a story about Lorraine. Uh, the other day when we were doing a live on YouTube, our first YouTube live, we asked people to give us some ideas for recipes or what would they like us to see cooked. And Lorraine said lemongrass chicken. So this is now Lorraine's lemongrass chicken using Mrs. Rogers products. So it's a really yummy recipe. I actually had never made it before. Uh, so I really enjoyed the challenge, although it wasn't challenging. That, that was the amazing thing. It was actually really easy to piece together. It's a recipe that is two stages, so that might throw some people, but I'm going to show you, of course, how easy it is to cook and create this awesome recipe at home using, you know, fresh sort of colors, spices, flavors, and don't bother going to the Thai takeaway or the Vietnamese takeaway. I think it's Vietnamese, actually. So don't bother doing that. Make it at home because it tastes so good. Uh, and yeah, and pretty much everybody will love it because it is really, really yum. Had it for lunch yesterday. So anyway, there's a few components, as I said. We need to first make a, uh, a very soft caramel using brown sugar. And that will be the sticky sweet side of our chicken. So, and then we're going to sort of cook the lemongrass and the chicken. But I want to show you the prepping of lemongrass. It looks like this, in case you haven't seen it. It's quite hard and uh, there are, yeah, it's quite cool. I would love to be able to grow some myself, but um, I'm not a very good gardener. Hello, Craig. Craig's joining from hey, Craig. New Plymouth. How Hello. are you, Craig? And Mel's coming in from Dunedin, Mel Hanley. Very Hello, good, Mel. very good. Thank What's the weather hello. like where you are, guys? Uh, today, touch wood, we seem to have escaped a cyclone, so fingers crossed. Anyway, lemongrass. So you can buy it like this, which is uh, how it grows, um, obviously like that in the ground. And it doesn't really smell like much as it is. It's not one of those things that you pick up and go, oh. Yeah, no, it doesn't happen. Um, but you can also buy it in a paste. Now, the trick is with paste, this is really only about 50% lemongrass. The rest of it is uh, preservatives and oils and uh, things like that to make it ideal in a paste. Nothing wrong with using that if you can't get this or can't grow this. It's just you need to use twice the amount. Um, Craig just described his day as being either his day or something else, beautiful and fine with a little wind. So I'm not mm. sure if he's describing the weather or, or, or someone. Me maybe. maybe you, yeah, could be. It's and pretty Mel good. says it's lovely in the end of the day. Good. Well, there you go. There you go. So anyway, to prep your lemongrass, you want to cut that off and a little bung bit. Yeah, we've got a little bit of smell now with that. Nice. So, cut off that bung bit and just cut off some of the top stalk. What I'm looking for is moisture. So that's still quite dry there, so I'm just going to cut a little bit more off. Moisture is not wet as such, it's just fresh, so that's better. So for the people that are joining us, um, we, are, we are making Lorraine's lemongrass chicken. We are, and hopefully Lorraine may actually join us at some stage, although she uh, could be a little bit busy. That's all right. So, now you just want to pull those, um, those dry leaves off, a couple of leaves from the outside off, um, just until we get a proper... Down to the goodness. Stick. Don't worry about like that little bit. That's fine. Craig says all of the above. So he's describing the weather and someone. <laughs> Beautiful. And now I'm getting my whizzy machine. Now you can use um, anything else that you've got, which will make this like a um, one of those bullet machines. Uh, you could make up a lot of it in a blender or a food processor or something smaller like this is probably a little bit more ideal because we want to do two stalks. Now with my whizzy machine, I just need to chop it up like this. Is that officially what it's called, a whizzy machine? Yeah, that's its right. official, official whizzy, it, okay. it is a whizzy machine. Actually, right. I'm going to use it with the paste. Ooh. I know, I'm going to use a bit of both. So, I've got that and I'm going to whizzy it up. And again, I don't need to go to the gym for this one. Now, 
live, wo Bang it live, down. live woozying. Live woozying. Now in this recipe there are three tablespoons of oil. I have found that just a small drizzle of oil in with that is going to create more of a mince. So we'll just whiz that up. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite chunky, uh, but that's not, but fine. Fine enough that it's sort of similar to an, uh, an onion, a diced onion kind of. Oh, it smells lovely though, Yeah, it? it smells divine. It is really, really yum, and we don't oh, want yum. to lose any of this. It smells, so, yeah, mm, yeah. It smells lemony and mm. slightly grassy. Yeah, it's an yeah. apt name for lemon grass. Funny, funny that. So you can imagine, um, you know, there's a bit of texture on that. You want really good fiber as well, probably. So uh, you really want that texture. So that's what you wouldn't get if you just use the whole paste. But by all means, you can mix the two. Mix it up. Yep. And you'll find you'll see in the final recipe that texture is really important for the yeah. for the final meal. It's really, really, really important. Really, really important. So now for our chicken, we need to marinate it. So I have chicken thigh here, which yum really is the best part of the chicken as far as I'm concerned. It has a lot of flavour used in a lot of curries and recipes similar to this. Uh, it also has quite a high content of fat but a little bit of fat is what you need in this recipe. That's what gives the meat the flavour. You're also not going to end up with dry chewy bits of chicken. So it's a really good thing to have. Oh, Alana's here and she says it sounds amazing and mouth watering. Alana, you need to try this one. Yeah, this, this one's a good not, one. And you can remove whatever spices because I mean, you know, it's not necessarily good good yep. for you in particular. Yep. But, uh, well, there's one spice that you can't really remove, oh. but uh, okay, the other you can. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just follow okay. the recipe. Make it for someone else. Carry on. Okay, so uh, two tablespoons of fish sauce. Now, don't smell it because it smells... Fishy. Fishy. Gross. Um, garlic. Now, the recipe calls for three cloves of minced garlic. Now, I substituted here because I was lazy one clove of garlic for one really large teaspoon of pre minced garlic. Again, like this, you have to use twice the amount if you're going to use something um, like that, but that works for me because I love garlic and I'm lazy. But if you can pre-mix your own, or you know, pre-mince your own, do. Uh, Mrs. Rogers pink Himalayan salt or sea salt. It actually doesn't matter which one you use as long as there's salt in there. And a large tablespoon of the masala powder. Now, original recipes call for curry powder. I love using this because it just has so much more flavor than just a basic curry powder. However, if you don't like using this, just use the Mrs. Rogers curry powder. That's fine. However, try it with this. What's oh, the masala got in it? You mentioned before. Okay, so the masala's got uh, kashmiri chili, paprika, cumin, coriander, turmeric, and additional spices. So it has so much more, and the color is beautiful, uh, similar to the turmeric that's coming through, obviously. Uh, and it's yeah, it's just really nice. I use this in my deviled eggs instead of curry powder. So I tend to use uh, tend to use this spice mix a lot, and it just smells so nice. Anyway, that goes in there as well. I'm going to put a, a about a little bit of my brown sugar in there, just just cause, just cause I can. Just cause doesn't yeah because I can. Nice. Uh, and a little bit more splash of oil. And that's what sort of oil was that? Just a This is a rice bran rice oil, bran but any yeah, vegetable standard. oil is fine. Okay. I wouldn't use olive oil, it has too much flavor. Now we're just wanting to marinate our chicken while we go on to the rest of the bit. We don't need to, to marinate it for long, just while we're going to make the next step is fine. So you don't need to pre-do this, although if you wanted to, and then you could actually freeze it at this stage um, and defrost it uh, into. Oh no! I didn't. Now, um, Mel's just joined us, and hey, Al everyone. Alana actually sent her an invite to watch our live. Oh, so that's pretty cool. You guys are friends. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Well so, guys, this um, it actually doesn't look too bad. Our chicken and the pieces that I've diced that up too. I forgot to mention that bite-sized pieces. 
yeah. you know, however big your bite is, just bite-sized pieces, and mix it up and just pop it to one side. So for the people that are joining us, once again, we are making Lorraine's lemongrass chicken. Lorraine yeah. watched our YouTube live the other day and we asked for suggestions on what we could make. And, and uh, she we, suggested lemongrass chicken. So, so we're making so it. So we're making it. There you go. Okay, now we need to make a caramel. This is what uh, is going to make the lemongrass chicken stick a little bit together and uh, just taste that extra. And we have a special guest who's just <gasps> joined us. It's Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine. Lorraine has Lorraine. entered the building. Yay. Well done, Lorraine. Thank so you So Lorraine, lemongrass chicken. You'll have to rewind and, and watch uh, from the beginning and when watch. Finished. Yeah. There we go. Because I've just marinated the chicken, Lorraine. Yep. So you need to know that step. Anyway, so to make the caramel, I've got two tablespoons of um, brown sugar. If you've only got white sugar, you can use it. However, the brown just More caramelizes mm. better. Uh, and I've got some water here. It's very that hard to find. Yep. Okay, yeah, nice. <laughs> it's, uh, there's nothing special about this water. I could have done it from the tap like I did yesterday, but I'm being all flash and pantsy with my pre mm. uh, thing. I'm just going to put uh, about half of it in, which is around about two tablespoons. And over to the stove we go, because what I have to do is make this into a caramel. Not a salted caramel, just a caramel. So I'm just going to turn my stove on, because that makes it go quicker. We've got lovely, and lovely look flowers. Look at my flowers. I've got some flowers for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, and purple's my favourite colour. So, and I quite like tulips. Tulips. Yes, Alana, it's so. chicken thigh. Yeah, chicken thigh. Thigh meat is the best to use for things like this, guys. And flavor. Has flavor. It holds together really well, and it doesn't dry out like chicken breast would. If you want to use chicken breast, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. However, you will find it's uh, possibly a little bit drier, so you're really going to have to watch your cooking time. Make sure that, obviously, it's cooked through. But don't keep cooking it because then it will dry out. The, the texture of the um, chicken thigh works well with this recipe it does. in particular. It does. The um, meatiness of it. Mel's favourite cover is purple too. Oh, there you go. I'm going to do my bedroom purple and grey. Mm. Just it's in the back of my head, so I just thought I'd mention Good that. Good to know. Mm. Good to know. So anyway, the object of this is to... <laughs> Thanks, Alana. <laughs> she said I did an awesome job in picking those flowers. Yeah. yeah. You didn't pick I them. I didn't pick them. Thanks, uh, thanks for the, you didn't need to tell people that, you could have just given me a bit of credit. Oh, I mean, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. he did. Yeah, thanks. No. Nothing like day after specials after Valentine's Day. I know, Day. I love day after specials from Valentine's cheap, Day. Cheap chocolate and cheap flowers. Yeah, although Brilliant. I'm not allowed the chocolate, so. Although I did have a perky nana yesterday. Yeah. It's mm. my favourite. Yes. Anyway, so we're wanting to melt that, and we do want to squash all the bits of really yummy sugar and we're wanting to crack that up to a boil because I'm actually wanting to slightly not burn but caramelize that sugar and to do that I need to reduce the water off that and uh, and bring it down to a complete boil to the you know bottom of the pot make it almost like a toffee mm -hmm. is what we're looking for uh, without the vinegar because there's vinegar and toffee. There is. Just now what so did you know. people do for their Valentine's Day? We had some discussion, was it yesterday? No, the day before, day before what people were doing on Valentine's, on Valentine's Day. Day, what people were doing, a number were going out for lunch and things like that. Yes. Has, have your special person made it a Valentine's weekend? Oh, that would be nice. Why Damn didn't it. you do that? Damn it. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Live and learn. Oh, wow. Yeah. Never yeah, mind, with three kids, the fact that we got into bed at a reasonable hour was probably a good yes, thing. Exactly. Very, very lucky. Yes. But let us know if you had a lovely Valentine's, or if you didn't. Yeah, maybe, if you hate maybe. Valentine's Day. I watched one of those good text stories um, you know, going around on Facebook, and it was, um, it was about a, a bloke chatting to some, his mates about how his girlfriend got some, got some flowers, and he ended up threatening the ex-boyfriend with, with killing him. And they oh. weren't, they, they, because he figured that was him, but then the last text from his girlfriend was, oh, it's all right, it was for another Tabitha in the, in the office. And then he was reported to the police. Oh. It's quite, it was funny. It, doesn't, it sounds really serious. I was going to say, that sounds full on. Yeah, no, it's one of those funny, funny text things. 
Okay, so oh, look, as you boiling. can see, we're boiling, which is great. And I, I'm not stirring at this stage, but I do have to watch because I'm just wanting that sugar to go a little bit darker and uh, not burn as, as such. But caramelized. But caramelized. So it will be a bit tricky. I do want it to reduce, so I have to boil it to get that reduction. So. Oh, Mel was playing Fortnite. Fantastic. Good on you, Mel. That's the new rage. Well, not necessarily new, but playing Fortnite on Valentine's Day. That's been awesome. <laughs> I have no uh, idea Al what that and is. And Alana was playing PlayStation as well. So there you go. Alana and Mel, the other Mel, you should catch up and play Fortnite together. Although I don't think you can play PlayStation and Xbox together. Sorry, we're, this is a cooking show. Welcome to Mrs. Rogers Cooking and Gaming. Although I like playing on my phone those cooking... Yeah, the little... The when cooking, you like where no, you go to a Japanese you restaurant, you make the sushi yeah, you and you flick them and you... Fortnite. Fortnite, you run around shooting. Sorry, right. anyway, back to Is the Is it a cooking. bit like Unreal Tournament? Yeah. The older, yeah, oh, yeah, I loved yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's when like I that. had time to do what I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So as you can see, it's really, it's really uh, starting to reduce. We're getting quite a nice syrupy there, and it's gone a lot darker. Oh, it um, even smells nice. It smells nice. Well, this is a caramel, essentially. Mm. We just don't want it. But a fine caramel. It, but a very, well, we just wanted to caramelize that. So you do, you can't walk away from this one. You can't, you cannot walk away, I'm sorry. It's, yeah. um, it's boring. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> sorry, Mel. Yeah, sorry, I just got distracted by the gaming discussions, but we should it, go back to the cooking thing. I was going to say, don't. Oh, sorry. Don't leave her. So oh, well, um, Alana's saying it's the 30th birthday, April 7th. Happy 30th. Oh. Is that one of the recipes that you'd recommend and I that sort of for, for doing for a bit? Well, have a think, Mel. Um, Alana, Ooh. have a think. What a 30th big birthday. 30th birthday. That's, that's a big birthday. What, uh, what, give me a meat or a, a, or a base. You tell us what you like and we'll do a special recipe for yeah. your birthday. How so about you that? say, I would, lo I would I love, love chicken. Yeah. Give me a chicken something. And how many people are you cooking? Yes. Are you cooking this? And how many people are you catering for? Because that will make... A big difference. Now I am just going to add a little bit more water to that. Lamb, lum, lamé. I'm good at lamb. Mm. We've actually got a um, lamb uh, cutlet or chop or something recipe in the works. Just trying a few different things, so I have to make sure it's beautiful. It's three people, and she'll cook it. Three people, and you'll cook it. Okay, okay. We'll let done. You know. we'll let you know, Alana. Well done. Okay, so as you can see, that's oh. Can we see? That's my. Oh, so it's still, still quite thin. I've just Well, I've added more water there just because um, I don't want it to go hard and it will go thicker as it cools. And so now we're putting it to the side. So we add a little bit of water, uh, otherwise bit of it's going to go thick in the pan and we don't want that. And we don't want that because then you're kind of trying to get it out. Yeah. We're not so, making a sweet, we're making chicken. No, we're making uh, chicken. Yes. So back, um, now you could use this on an electric fry pan. It's just I'm always using my electric fry pan and Ben actually cooked some bacon before so I thought I'd use this mm. instead of washing the fry so pan. So you're using your $4 Kmart special pan? It's, it was $5 I $5, think. $5, sorry. So I'm wanting to pop some oil in there and heat that up. Rice bran oil? Rice bran oil, the rest of my rice bran oil. Yum. And yeah, like you always say, that's good because it, the flavour there's no There's no flavors. flavor and it can be heated to a really high heat. Olive oil and things like that will burn. So uh, rice bran oil is a really good oil. Not. It also has no flavor. So if you need a massage oil, you can also use it. Nice, good to know. So good to know. I'm just going to move uh, all my uh, bits and pieces over here, everybody. And uh, now I've got some Mrs. Rogers chili flakes. If you wanted to leave this part out, you could. Uh, but it's quite nice in and uh, it's not too hot but obviously make it as chilly as you want if you want it really hot yeah. spice it up if you don't want it hot at all take it out L Lorraine's asking if canola oil is okay yep canola oil is fine Lorraine um, okay. this you is your chicken recipe Lorraine you should know yeah no sorry and and um, Alana is looking. She won. She was actually one of the prize winners the other day. So yes. she was looking at some products that she got. Oh, very good. So I'm just wanting to um, fry those chili flakes to release the flavour. 
and to get that mm, out and about. Smell, it smells like a restaurant here. It does. Okay, so here's now, the lemongrass. Here's my lemongrass. You can see how hot my oil is. So when people who jo joined us late, um, the lemongrass has quite a lot of texture. So when which it, you need. Which you, you need. You don't want to use. You don't want to use lemongrass, which is the paste, like it is there. Well, you can mix it, like I'm going to do. Yeah, I but, am the, gonna, but, but the texture of the lemongrass, the fresh lemongrass, which we is which we cut up, which is over there. So there's a, a fresh. It's almost woody. It has grass. quite a woodiness, woody texture to it, and it's a little bit uh, similar to uh, like um, oh, bamboo so shoots nice. and things like that. So that's my two lemongrasses that I'm putting in there. I'm kind of, I've never made it with the paste, so I just thought I would try it. Uh, and now I've got um, a small shallot. You, I didn't swear. You haven't no. got shallot of them. Just I haven't got shallot, ones. just a little bit, and they're really finely sliced. Now, if you didn't have shallots or they're really expensive, you could replace it with a red onion or a pink onion. Yeah, Lorraine's saying um, her, her lemongrass is a lot thinner. So that's the thing. Yeah. We found that with the, the texture of the final meal, having that lemongrass be bitty is actually really yeah. nice. Because what you'll see after, after we, when we finish here, there's, a, there's an, essentially an oil which is with the, mm. with the lemongrass. And you're not making a soup. You're making something that's... Um, that's chunky. Yeah, and that adds the flavour and the texture so, and the experience. The rain. You might just have to add sort of three, three. Um, what do you call them? A sprig. Three, three roots. Three mm. lemongrass roots, as opposed to um, two. Yeah, and and so yeah, from fresh lemongrass as opposed to just and what's in a. In what's a, in a? What's in a? You a really packet. need. You need to either mix it, mm. or I don't think you. You could have the flavour if you use just the minced lemongrass already done in the shop. But we want more than flavour, we want texture. You want texture as well. Yeah. Now I'm going to um, get my and chicken. Mel likes shallots. I don't understand shallots, to be honest. I don't, I don't know whether it's an onion. You don't or understand a, onions, actually. No, um, I don't understand whether it's an onion or a small onion or it's its own thing or what does it... I think it's its own thing. Okay. But it is possibly from the onion family because... It made my eyes cry. Oh, no. And I got them that fine because I've got one of those chukka chukka machines. Mm. With your little chukka chukka machine and a whizzy machine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's professional chef speak. Mm -hmm. So as you can see there, it's just wilted. Um, I guess you could, if you want, if you weren't using a proper lemongrass sprig or oh, stalk. Lorraine's growing her own. Hold on. Oh, Lorraine, you rock. And Sue Slater has joined us. Hello, Sue. Um, you could add more of the shallot to get a little bit more chunkiness to it. Now, Lorraine has said mandolin. I absolutely yes, that's, what? It, that's oh, it. what's that? What is it's it? a chukka chukka machine. Oh, right. I thought it was a mandolin. Isn't that a type of instrument? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, my chicken's going in. So this is the chicken that's been marinating. Marinating, so as you... As not for a long time, just from the time that it's taken us to do the, the other things. Yeah. Oh, God, that sounds good. And, 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 this is the best part. Ready? My caramel. Caramel onto the chicken. Yeah. So the light caramel sauce onto the chucky chuck. Guess what we're having for lunch? Uh, late lunch and then probably dinner as well, because <laughs> this is quite a lot. This is quite a lot. Yeah, but so. That, so so that's the thing. Um, this is w when we did this test yes, uh, day before yesterday. Um, this is like restaurant quality. Yeah. This is not. This doesn't feel like a home cooked meal. This feels like a restaurant quality dish that you would pay thirty five dollars for when I was eating it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not. I'm not. Um, you were really hungry though. Yeah, true. <laughs> so hopefully it has the same. Uh, yeah. Thing. Well, no, it was, it was genuinely restaurant quality. So that's a Friday night takeaway. Instead of spending what usually for a family is probably close to $80 on takeaway these days. Yeah, depending on what you get. But yep. something like a Vietnamese or Thai would yeah, definitely be, 80, be 80 up bucks there. Flat out spending that. Yeah. Um, you could make this and that with some what is it, rice, rice, I guess. Rice yeah. and some uh, uh, stir fried vegetables. Stir fried vegetables. You, uh, because that smells glorious. Amaze balls. Yeah, so lovely. you just want to keep it moving around as the chicken cooks. Mm. This is going to take about 10 minutes to cook. 
Are you going to have to talk for 10 minutes? 10 minutes of talking? Oh, man. Well, ask us I questions. So if anyone's got any questions out there, because we're going to have to stand there for a little bit and do some cooking. Yeah, we don't we've want got to, to bore do some you. cooking. We don't, yeah. So uh, if you could tell us, um, like, so before we're talking about Alana and her 30th. Yes. Uh, and what she's going to cook there. Has anyone else got any special occasions coming up? And are they planning? I know there's... Birthdays are always a fun time for, for planning for kids and yes, I've 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 got a special birthday this year. You uh, do have a special birthday and this I, year. I will be planning because uh, I'm going to have all of my friends over, probably about twenty odd. Hmm. Uh, and be fun. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to do yet, but yeah. it will be really nice. I want something easy-ish. Yeah. Could even be uh, gourmet burgers or. Uh, Something like that. Now Mel Something says she like enjoys that. spending more money and cooking at home. Absolutely agree. Yeah. yeah. And Lorraine wants to see the face behind the camera. Oh. oh see la oh. a bit of mystique there. Yeah. And a, yeah. And a fly and who's really excited about lunch. Late summer, lunch. The old summer fly. Oh, Alana's sucking up as well. She says, You look so young, I would have thought you were thirty. Oh well done, Alana. It's makeup, makeup <laughs> and lighting. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to laugh so hard there. So no, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you're older than me. Hang on a sec. Hold on a minute. No, but uh, uh, we, uh, we're we also doing something Oh, exciting. Mel's having we a birthday as well. Oh, Mel, when's your birthday? Let us know. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, the exciting thing. So we are going to take Mrs. Rogers on the road. We um, are. And for for a, this special birthday, this 21st, um, we're going on a cruise. We are. So we, we are going on a cruise. We are flying to Brisbane and we are going to do a cruise up around the islands of uh, Numea and Vanuatu, so uh, which will be lovely. I so can't wait. We may not be able to come live no. as such because of the internet apparently is terrible, but we will do lots of videoing yes. and I will do a lot more resting with a cocktail in my hand, mm. I'm hoping. But we, like we did with the executive chef Shalesh yes. um, at uh, the Outrigger, we're going to try and get some, some behind-the-scenes footage of the food on a cruise. Because yeah. we believe, this will be our first cruise, we believe that it has improved dramatically the food um, yes. in cruises. So everyone, everyone seems to be doing it at the moment. There's always something happening down the viaduct. Uh, Mel says take a hand sanitizer. Yes, yes, yes we will take a how. We are going to yeah. be wiped and sanitized up. Yes. Uh, we're idea. also going to take some uh, anti nausea and uh, uh, anti, the, anti fully down. The boat is the PO Pacific Aria. Aria. So it's a small it's an, a mid mid size boat. I think it holds it. Takes twelve one thousand two hundred and fifty eight people. Oh there you go. Well done. Um, and we're not taking the children. No. No children. So we'll have. So that will be really time. interesting. So. Uh, well, just I'm, from a food perspective, I, yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they keep it interesting. Mm. Um, we because know it, they've got like a, um, they've got like, they call it the pantry, and it's like almost like a glamour food. Yeah. Oh, Lorraine went on that one. And, oh, um, did you? Yeah. What did you cool. think of it? Yeah. And we will have an awesome time. Um, thank you, Mel. I think made that comment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, L L Lorraine will be, will be interested to, to yeah. know your thoughts, you don't necessarily have to tell us now, but um, yeah, if you've got any tips um, for us as we go on the cruise, like I say, we, we really want to um, experience the, it's the, the food and the relaxation and yeah. all the rest. Um, oh, and the basketball court. Depending on the side of the room if we get a fridge, so. Oh, okay. Um, then again, well, I don't know, I'm quite happy to just leave the room. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we'll need a fridge. No. We're, We're not. I'm actually not going to be cooking. I don't think. No. Although that would be really could be, cool. Could be fun. Yeah. Now how's our chicken looking over here? It's looking great, and I'm probably boiling it a little bit or cooking it a little bit hotter than I normally would, just because I'm aware that people don't want to stand here watching me uh, move this chicken around. Oh, they might. You never know. Well, they might. Plus, I'm also wanting Thanks to uh, reduce that water um, a bit and just thicken up that sauce because I'm not going to use any thickener on it. I am just boiling off any moisture that I can to really coat that chicken and uh, and get that caramel going. Well done. Yes, Lorraine says for cold drinks we will need a, a fridge. Lorraine, I'm thinking for cold drinks we need a bartender, to be yeah. honest. Um, we, um, we actually upgraded and bought the drinks package because that includes soft drinks, tea, coffee, 
uh, alcoholic drinks up to a certain amount and I think that was it. Yeah. I don't know, but it's basically all the drinks I'll that we wine, would... Oh, and water and things like that. No, it doesn't include water. No, it doesn't, it doesn't include no. bottled water. That was actually one of the things that was mm. surprised me is that they... You, on top of the drinks package, you, you buy. Gotta, you got to buy buy water. Well, maybe we take a drink bottle then, and we'll boil the water and fill it up. Yeah, that's good. And at least then we've got room temperature if we haven't got a fridge. And Mel, you are correct. If there is a chef there, because uh, I know Luke Mangan was one yeah. of. Was it Luke Mangan or? Uh, yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure he's on the aria. Well, not yeah. him specifically, but. Mm, yeah. So his I'm sure there are. Yeah, there will be chefs there, and we will we will sneak in and. Uh, and say hello. Try and do mm. something. Actually, a lot of our research um, has been on YouTube. Yeah. Um, YouTube has been our saving grace because uh, we've never done a cruise before and we wanted to make sure it was something we were even interested in. Because yeah. most of our holidays are uh, getting to a destination and running around like headless chickens, figuring out what to do. And, uh, and I actually just wanted a holiday I could semi-relax. Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay, yeah, Craig says you get the water for free if you ask at the bar and put some in the fridge. That's smart. Well done. Nice. Well done. So we'll, we'll actually, we will do some YouTube videos, probably more relevant than, um, than on Facey, and throw them up there on our page. Now, please, um, uh, oh, someone's watching from LA. That's cool. Uh, Craig, a good drink, drinks package as well, so that's, that's cool. Um, right. Yeah, do, do check out our YouTube page. I'm going to do some spruiking now while Kirsty's doing the, mm -hmm. the, the cooking. Um, we spend a fair amount of effort getting all of our videos. There's something like 88 videos there um, on YouTube. So, um, oh, oh, so we take our fancy dress with us. We have to take fancy dress. What? What? I so that's like what Mel the was saying sound before. Of that. So we get to dress up. Can I be a princess? Well, we're gonna, well maybe we get told. I've got my princess dress. Ooh, okay. You could wear I'll, your sumo suit. I could wear my sumo suit. Yes. Um, so yeah, check out the YouTube page. Um, do have a look. It's it's uh, you just search for Mrs. Rogers or look for a link on our on the post that we're making. It does. Um, it, it's really easy to have a look around. Oh yes, and Craig, I will be taking a power board. Don't worry about that. I'm the gadget man. He so travels with a power board. Yeah, I travel with a power board all the time. That's a standard. But thanks for pointing it out because. That's, yeah. uh, yeah. Right. I think that's about right. So just while that continues to sizzle away there. I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate up my plate. <laughs> plate, plate up, up my plate. plate. I'm going to plate up my plate. So I'm going to put that there and put that there, make it look pretty. So now I've got some spiraled pumpkin and carrot here. I've tossed a little bit of butter on there. So I'm just wanting to, because food is all about Ooh. presentation. It looks lovely. Look at that. So that's instead of, if, instead of doing a rice. So you, you could do just well, a simple stir, stir fry with that. Yep. Uh, now I did uh, cheat here a little bit guys and I have bought, uh, so I'm hoping it will work, one of those uh, packet microwave, microwave rices rice. yep. because really there's not much wrong with that. So Lorraine, we're getting to the final stages of Lorraine's lemongrass chicken. The kitchen, the Mrs. Rogers kitchen is smelling absolutely glorious. glorious. Actually, someone made the comment the other day, I can't remember who it was, and said, love your studio kitchen, just a kitchen. This ain't our studio kitchen. This is just a kitchen. I was making cornflakes and Milo sprinkled with a cup of tea and that this yeah, morning yeah, for yeah, the kids. Yeah. So now, um, just that was just to spoil the magic. Just to spoil the magic. Now, good way to shape your rice: use any kind of cup or container, push it down as hard as you can, uh, and give it a shake. And that didn't work perfectly but you can get the idea so if i was to have made that rice at home myself it would have been had a lot more starch and a lot more gluggy oh god that smells so good now it's starting to get that caramel in so it's really starting to look nice and the good thing about cooking it in something like this everybody is you could just put a hot plate on your table and serve it in it because i think that looks quite cool oh. myself Oh, we're going to get raffle tickets and go shopping on board and go to get one a martini making conversation. What? Session. That's cool. All right. I am, oh, martini. my espresso martini is the bomb. So I could bring that. Mel says she hasn't come across a packet one that rice that stacks up. So let us no. know what that one was. I don't know what brand it was. I think Might it was budget enough. brand actually. Yeah. Whatever, like the home oh, yeah. brand kind of. So. Oh, it, I'll tell you what, the, so, the, 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 it, it does look yummo, Mel, but the, the actual image does not 
do the Justice flavor the smell and the vision. smell that is just absolute that yeah i'm i'm struggling with my words here because the smell salivating. that is i am literally my mouth is doing that thing where it does watering your mouth is going oh no yeah, no, yeah, no yeah no, that no. this that that the, this oh i can't even get my words out ben's mouth often does that it does when that is glory and you'll notice that i'm just going to zoom in a little bit sorry no, i'm going to really zoom shiny. in down here see how we're talking about the texture of the lemongrass yeah mel i'm hungry and i'm about 13 inches away from it's it. It's really hot, so it's I'm really just hot. Um, on Yes, we will pin it. So the recipe is in uh, the post already, uh, and we'll pop it up on the Mrs. Rogers website as well. It is officially known as Lorraine's Lemongrass Chicken from, from here to eternity. Um, but you see the texture, see the texture of the lemongrass in there? That just adds to the, ex the mm. eating experience. Go on, there we go. It what, does look good. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay. What eating experience? For fun, because it's really hot. Okay. So, guys, that was my uh, fairly oh, easy lemongrass up. chicken. It's not hard. Oh. Surprisingly, you can make this at home, and it is just really nice. Like, look at that rich sauce just from that tastes so damn not good. thickening anything up. It's just from <laughs> boiling it down or reducing Lorraine says, Thanks. it. She'd never had anything named after her. There you go, Lorraine. This is just for you. This is purely for you, Lorraine, because you said lemongrass chicken on youtube the other day we have provided you with lemongrass chicken and, and we're going to do lamb, lamb for alana for four, and maybe some other ones maybe some other ones let us know As thank you through. very so much for watching yeah thanks so much for watching guys we're going to go bring, and uh, bring that up to your face so we can get a shot of you holding lemon the lemongrass chicken. chicken there's our lunch there's the lemongrass there's, there's the, the lemongrass. chicken there's the there chicken. it is there well done. And it is so, so Please share tasty. this share this video if you have friends who love chicken, love takeaway, and are sick of spending eighty dollars a takeaway. Um, then share the video yeah. and like the video. We will have a good weekend, Alani. You have a lovely weekend. Yes. Managed to avoid a cyclone for a little bit, so that's good. And and we'll see, see you later. You later. Fantastic. No, so I'm going to put down the fork because I was eating the food. <laughs> Happy everyone. cooking, everyone. Have a good weekend. Okay. Bye. See ya.